Welcome to the Polesport Organization Level Explainer video. Why do we have levels at PSO? Levels help to sort competitors based on skill. That way, you are competing against other dancers who have similar skills. You get to pick your level. Your choice should be based on the skills that you currently have. You may only be in one level per competition. For example, if you compete in level one for championship, you must also be in level one if you do dramatic, entertainment, or exotic. Once you compete at a level, you must stay at that level or move up for the rest of the year. What if I just want to win? Can I pick a level that's too easy for me? No, that's called sandbagging. Your level choice should reflect the skills that you can currently do. Level one. This is the level for beginner pole dancers. No inverts on the pole are allowed. Inverts using the floor, like cartwheels, are okay. You may use the static and spinning poles, but you don't have to use both. Level one competitors may not be paid pole performers or pole instructors. Level two. This is the level for beginner inverters. Dancers at this level should be able to safely invert from the ground. Inverts from the floor are allowed. Once you're in the air, inverts moving down the pole are okay, but inverts going up the pole are not okay. The three points of contact rule applies. Level two must use both static and spinning poles. What's the three points of contact rule? For levels two and three, you must have three points of contact any time you are inverted on the pole. A point of contact is anywhere that your body touches the pole. It applies to both tricks and transitions. Level three. This is the level for aerial inverters. You should be able to safely do aerial inverts by bringing the hips above the shoulders in a smooth and controlled motion. The three points of contact rule applies. Level four. This is the level for advanced pullers who can perform handsprings. There are no move restrictions. While this is not a required element, PSO recommends that you can safely execute at least three inverted tricks with two points of contact or less in order to be in level four. Level five. This is the level for the most advanced pullers. There are no move restrictions. PSO recommends that you have previous performance or competition experience in order to be in level five. Professional. This level is open to dancers from anywhere in the world. The top two U.S. women and men from each region will advance to the U.S. national finals. Professional has prize money offered at the national competition. Leveling up. If you placed first, second, or third in a PSO event, and your division had six or more competitors, you must move up at least one level for the following year. In summary, the level you compete at should match your skills. Level one means no inversions. Level two allows inverts from the ground only and the three points rule applies. Level three allows inverts from the air, but the three points rule still applies. Level four and five are open to all moves. Professional is the qualifier for nationals. Questions? Hit us up at info at Thanks for watching. See you at the show.